Welcome everyone, this is Evelyn, and this is a Divine Feminine Twin Flame read today. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Sending lots of love and blessings out to you all. Hoping you're having an amazing day. It looks like a nice, bright, sunny day outside today. Today is the 29th of November. This read I did last night at 9.58 was the Syrian Starseed deck cut. This is a seven deck read. The Syrian Starseed is the main deck for the read. Uh, we have the mini Rider Weight. We have the Romance Angels, True of Sexual Magic, the Numerology deck as well as the Gilded Tarot and the Universal Golden Tarot. A 9.58 is the Hermit and the Four of Swords. And at 10.07, of Chalices was coming up, so of Heart and Emotion, and also again, Isis. So whether that's being Cold or Isis, uh, both of those things were coming up. I finished clarifying at 10.21, which is the Wheel of Fortune in the World. And I watched the movie Elf last night which of course is a very funny movie. So that was a lot of fun. All right, so there's a lot of humor coming up and that innocence, right, of love. Here's the main read in front of you. I'm gonna clarify that a little bit. Okay, and then here's the full read in front of you. And it's funny because Where's Waldo keeps coming up with the Page of Pentacles. The, ma the major arcana in this read is the moon or luna, and here we have the lunar eclipse tonight, and strength, justice, and reflection. Reflection is the hermit. And that was it for the majors today. And then we had two swords, three cups, one wand, and one pentacle. So mostly cups or emotional heart-based energy. We had court cards of the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups within the read, and then before the read, because I always pull a few cards on either end of the read, before the read was the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So we have two knights within the read, and then like um, page, page and, and knight can be siblings for sure. Or it can be messages of growth perhaps as well. Uh, after the read, the Queen of Wands came up with the King of Pentacles, also the Nine of pentacles and cups came up, which can be two characters as well, the sovereign energy and the one that's satisfied with themselves, the get your wish card. And then the code line was all about time out and patience. And we had triple twos. In a lesser sense, we had double sixes and nines, but triple twos, as well as the five, which is the number of expansion and conflict, but also the pursuit of happiness. And then 10, which is that high vibration, Destiny, the Wheel of Fortune, a turn for the better. And the code line about time out and patience uh, had the number nine from the large number 522. So, yeah, and the five and 22 are very significant here. The other numbers that came up were 2311, which is the King of Wands and Justice. The 25 of the Knight of Wands, the, the 510, which is zero behind 51, the King of Swords. So that source energy backing up the King of Swords energy. 12 of the Hangman, 23 of the King of Wands, 26 of the Page of Wands. 35 is the Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands. 56 of the Two of Swords, 69 of the Ace of Pentacles, and 910, 910 begin again, but also the 91 with zero backing it up. And 91 is the reflection of the sun. So either which way, that's a one energy, which is very masculine and very focused. So regarding time out and patience for the divine feminine read, this is. Um, there's a bunch of different kinds of interpretations that came up. And you know the, you know the eyeballs where the, the eyeball goes back and forth in the, I'm trying to think of the comic. It's like... Um, 
I don't know, like kind of Betty Boop eyes, you know, where they, the, they're just balls and they just bounce back and forth really wide open. Well, those eyes were coming up. The sad seat. Somebody might need to exchange their seat or change, change things up for their freedom. Um, the fool is coming up here in the header. It can be the fool or it could be two high priestesses, which would be two people using their psychic abilities or two secrets. Two people keeping to themselves or keeping secrets. But also the double lunar eclipse is coming up because we have a lunar eclipse now, but we also have another one in December. And then this regarding the Knight of Swords, the Messenger of Truth, the Knight in Shining Armor as well, the Knight of Orphans, the Knight of the Blind Men, right? And now I see the co-creation of being able to see with time out and patience. The Sophia energy, the collective divine feminine after death, see at five to two. And this could be literally 155, whether it's AM or PM. But that's around the time that the moon eclipses, actually. It's supposed to start around 2.30 this, tonight, this morning, next, the morning of tomorrow, the 30th. I'm on the East Coast. So it's today on the West Coast. So 155 is coming up for some reason, 5 to 2, but also referencing the expansion of the twins and the moon with the eclipse today and the read test. And that can be a reading test or the read, the stalk, the hollowed stalk also came up yesterday or the day before. So the read test of or BS, right? Can you holler yourself? Um, someone... Um, use this example of the human, you know, emptying themselves. Oh, Jen, uh, Cosmic Gypsy said that was a really good analogy of referencing yourself as a musical instrument, the need to holler yourself, to empty yourself, to make that beautiful sound, to allow the sound in, the vibrations. So the read test of or BS, right? Are you able to decipher what's true and what's not in co-creating time out and patience? So melancholy could become up here with sad, with this, the word sad, but I kept getting sad sack. So maybe someone who's sad sack or melancholy, or also the word sads with an S on it literally is a real word regarding multiple people who are sad and it was coming up here, sads eat. This also could be homeless people at 522, maybe someone's serving at the shelter at 522 in the evening, or this is when the sun's going down. There's something significant about dinner time at 5.22 in the evening regarding the Knight of Swords, right, or that messenger of truth, or the after-death test of thoughts and words, and co-creating time out and being patient, and patience. So then the Sophia comes up, liberates and possesses. She sows and plants quote unquote, freedom's fool, which is a poem that came up, freedom's fool at night in emotions regarding Robert William Service is his name and this poem came up, which I'm going to read to you. All right, this is Robert William Service and this is from poemhunter.com. Again, Sophia's, Sophia liberates and possesses all at the same time sowing the seeds or plants, freedom's fool at night when they're in emotions, or in other words, in the, in the mood to write a poem regarding Robert Williams' service here, the messenger of truth in co-creating. So his poem reads, to hell with government, I say, I'm sick of all the piddling pack. I'd like to scram, clean getaway, and never, never more come back. With heart of hope, I long to go to some, long, to some lost island of the sea and there get drunk with joy to know no one on earth is over me. There will be none to say me nay, so from my lexicon I can obliterate the word obey and mock the meddling laws of man. The laws of nature and God are good enough for guys like me who scorn to kiss the scarlet rod of office and authority. No stars and stripes, nor union jack, nor tricolor, nor crimson rag. Shall claim my love, I'll turn my back. On every land, every flag, my banner shall be stainless, white, an emblem, 
an emblem of the golden rule, yet it is freedom I will fight and die like any other fool. O governments, a bitter pill, no force of fear shall forge my fate. I bow to no communal will, for I myself shall be the state, uncursed by man curb and control. My isle shall be emparadised, and I will repossess my soul. Mad anarchist. Well, wasn't Christ? So that's his poem. So I felt that was very fitting. That may be the state of mind of, a, of both the masculines and the feminines. So as we go on, we start this read with the Ten of Swords reversed at 11 right on the dot last night. 11 being justice and the double zeros of a lot of source energy backing up justice, which is truth and balance. And this is where Where's Waldo came up. The Page of Pentacles went missing. And the Page of Pentacles was hiding behind the Seven of Wands, which is someone standing up for themselves or defending them, perhaps. But it's also the Christ vibration. Um, also, the Ten of Wands reversed fell on the floor. So that went missing as well. So the need to dump, the dump all your burdens, and maybe someone dumped all their responsibilities and didn't want anyone to know, and that could be the page of pentacles hiding, you know. It could be a child hiding their report card as well, you know. It's that kind of energy. So the worst is over, okay, with this ten of swords here. For me, ten of swords reversed is bliss. It's where all of a sudden the worst is over and the swords start to drop out of your back one by one. And when the pain releases, that's where the bliss comes in. So the Ten of Swords reversed with the Six of Cups reversed beneath there and coming upward is the Nine of Pentacles upright, Page of Pentacles upright, so that's the Knight and Page again. The Ace of Pentacles upright and then the Three of Wands reversed. So the worst is over after a negative past, perhaps a fallout between best friends or twins or any kind of close relationship or difficult kids or sad kids, and there's those sad sacks, that could be your children. The Knight of Pentacles upright here though, and the Page of Pentacles upright, it's interesting because the Knight and Page are together in two different places. Literally, the Knight of, these uh, cards out here, um, the Knight and Page of Pentacles are side by side, and then the other underlying energies up top there, they're the opposite, they're both together reversed. Okay, so there's two underlying energies two timelines you can pick where the knight and page are upright or the knight and page are reversed of pentacles. And again, the page of pentacles went missing. It was, that's the where's Waldo who was hiding. So let me know how that, re, that um, applies to you because it's definitely significant for everyone. The knight and page of pentacles, with it, which is earth energy, which can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but it doesn't have to. It can represent that very grounded or ungrounded energy also can have to do with the superficial life, being able to get projects off the ground. Anything that has to do with practical day-to-day -day life and finances as well. So the worst is over after a negative past, the fallout or these difficult kids or sad kids or sad sacks, the Knight of Pentacles upright and the Page of Pentacles upright. The Page of Pentacles hiding behind that Seven of Wands, an offer of a new life or payment restitution to the past, perhaps regarding the Ten of Pentacles and the world. Ten of Pentacles is upright here. And the world card can also represent the divine feminine. Also completion and the end of a cycle, coming full circle. Ending pain to allow bliss to come in. Moving to peace away from suffering and silence. With the messenger of truth rushing in before sharing a little love with the king of cups or Libra rising. Um, not... The messenger of truth may be under the radar. I was just getting Mott's applesauce too. So I don't know if someone's eating Mott's applesauce or maybe someone's feeding Mott's applesauce perhaps to a child or a baby. But um, under the radar, this king of cups or the divine feminine with the 10 of orbs and the worst being over may be feeling like a failure or needing attention. Um, this can be the messenger of truth, the divine feminine. And then we have the king of cups here as well. Um, so one of them, it's more likely the messenger of truth or the divine feminine 
feeling like a failure and needing attention or just on doing things under the radar in the 5D connection. The injustice that the King of Cups needs to be connected to the situation but is actually doing their own thing and is not affected here. And this can be anyone around you, you know, who's that loving, gentle, kind man. It's that unconditional love energy. So there may be an offering of a new passion with the wounded warrior who could be a Leo, maybe someone who's bored or feeling sorry for themselves, but offering a new passion ignited, uh, working, to, working to align with the home or, and or in union, offering big love to the enemy or to the bodyguard, perhaps to justice or a Libra or to a witness perhaps if you're in court. Perhaps, I hope someone's not trying to bribe someone with coffee because that may be coming up here. Perhaps offering the guard or the court clerk or a witness or lawyer a cup of coffee or Joe or one arguing with the judge reversed or the Libra reversed or again that witness or lawyer or offering love and attacking a judge reversed or a Libra reversed, Aquarius reversed all at the same time no longer bleeding out on two different timelines, the sad ignoring an offer from the messenger of truth. So, the sad, off, sad ignoring, so someone, it could be like the King of Cups who was sad, um, they were sad but ignoring, maybe there's so much in their, in their head or just distracted, and he's, it's the King of Cups upright, so he's good, then he may have just been thinking about things and not paying attention to what was being offered to him. So he may feel sad that he ignored an offer from the Messenger of Truth, who's now turned in the other direction, going back. So offering passion now, maybe now the... There's passion to work at home, but the Emperor comes up here next to them as well. I'm just trying to give me just one second. It's like um, he was so sad that he ignored an offer from the messenger of truth. So then turning their, their direction, their focus, which came up in the beginning of the read, to, to put their passion into working at home, perhaps, and offering love adamantly to Libra reversed and or Aquarius reversed, and that's the messenger of truth, or the, you know, who was being ignored, or the injustice of depression and loss of hope, the bird not making it out of the nest, though the worst is now over of the fall and the bleeding out the leaks in the ceiling and tributaries and tribulations, which tribulations came up yesterday with Jesus Christ Superstar. Look at all my trials and tribulations. Or a judge or Libra is stepping down. Lucy removed from the pumpkin patch or finished the pumpkin pie. The worst of Thanksgiving stomach ache is now over. And then Aaron Brockovich also came up with testing water coming up here that's poisonous. Injustice of dirty water that may have killed someone or near death, but now the worst is over. Perhaps there's a court case like Aaron Brockovich um, and that is now so over. The page of pentacles upright, the student, the opportunity, the invitation, standing up to others and choosing a path, perhaps of negative self-talk or the silent treatment, perhaps rumors or the page of swords reverse child who has a mouth on them, or the page of pentacles upright, the good student, sticking up for the page of swords reverse, um, who may be choosing a different kind of path for themselves, but the Page of Pentacles uh, sticking up for their, them to have their free choice of path, or those two are disagreeing with each other about the path that the Page of Swords is taking, or talking about what you can do with bamboo to profit, or two kids, or playing King of the Hill at 1142, which is Justice and the Two of Cups. Getting to know each other, comes up again and then getting to know you, getting to know all about you. That came up with the Divine Masculine yesterday too. So getting to know each other and soulmates. The Page of Pentacles may be hurting themselves in a nightmare of passion and burning the past. The Four of Swords being muzzled, kept quiet about it, flirting in hot pursuit and keeping up with arms, back, legs and feet, 
dancing in the dark and stuffed under the sheets, putting the truth aside to deal with conflict in a battle of the sexes and or the exes, or traveling for work affairs, or at sales-sponsored conferences, whining and dining perspective, or three different passions, uh, whining and dining perspective clients, or three different passions, or difficulty with children and or drug and alcohol and women. At 11.52 is Justice and the Queen of Swords. Or this also could be women, a woman claiming her man by using her feminine wiles, right? By showing off her body to say she's one, which is not love, by the way, not knowing what he's done behind her back. Perhaps she's, she has a lover. Maybe she's the one who has a lover and he doesn't know. Or a mother drinks and now that because she was drinking all the time, now the children may be drinking too because maybe she's got alcohol around the house all the time. Um, now the daughter does too. Effort comes up here, number 13, which is the death card and transformation, the endings, and completion, the number nine. So again, those endings, compassion and selflessness. So there is an effort being called for to complete a cycle. Knowing but blinded by the light, the page of pentacles in need of help, money or opportunity. Remember, they're hiding behind the seven of wands who may be needing to stand up for them. Maybe they need to stand up for themselves or maybe they've been defending the Page of Swords. But now the Page of Pentacles is coming up reversed in need of help or an opportunity, but Pisces and Libra are doing well. An end of cycle, destiny and divine timing. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is coming up as that stubborn bull energy, right? No movement, being still. It could be seen as a child who's being called lazy by their parents. But there's no movement here, no movement forward. Out the back, Jack, ghosting, dumping, or overwhelmed. The bunny and ladybugs refusing to move or work. And again, that can be a mother and their children. So after dropping a couple of swords on the way out, darting out the back door with as much as they could hold, right? So this is someone like, I'm not taking this anymore, and they just sneak out the back when no one's looking perhaps dropping a couple swords pur purposely or they were in such a hurry, you know, they dropped a few things as they were carrying as much as they could hold out the door. The roof may about to blow, and this could be someone's roof that's falling apart and may be about to leak at any moment or about to spring a leak. And this is where the day changed from November 28th to 29th at midnight where the elephants storing water in their trunks or can't hold it in any longer. And then all the liquid comes out. So that can be referencing a child, you know, who can't hold it in, a pet who can't hold it in, or an older relative who's now in diapers, maybe who's not diapered yet and can't hold it in anymore and they pee all over the place. I definitely experienced that with all of those things. <laughs> so dumped, purging, overwhelm, and the worst being over times two, or lost two, because of irresponsibility and or immaturity of the Page of Swords reversed and the Five of Swords upright, right, that war within, and the need to make an effort, weak needing courage or trying to come off strong, just proving your weakness, you know, the who pr protest too much was kind of the energy coming up here, with pain, overwhelm, and or dealing with immaturity, right, and that could be literally not that the person is necessarily immature, but the way they speak comes off as immature. Maybe they have a problem expressing themselves with language or thoughts or connecting their thoughts to words. The Knight of Pentacles is reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed here. Perhaps they've been crying a lot, dealing with a death, times two perhaps, the worst over, but a lot of negative self-talk in the war within. Being weak, trying to make an effort, or just weak, but trying to make an effort even though feeling weak, the Page of Swords reversed faces the Fool upright, who's free with an open heart, taking a leap of faith. The Page of Swords is really the antithesis of that, the, you know, the negative child immature energy, you know, spouting out really mean words. And here's the Fool. And here comes the movie of the Elf last night. Here was this grown man who acted like a child, you know, so um, just always in his heart, never really paying attention to what's going on around them. But the page of swords reverse is always in their head, over-ruminating about every little thing. 
So the page of swords reversed faces the fool upright. And this can reference to the page of pentacles. Where's Waldo? So here's that, you know, the page of swords may think the page of pentacles is an idiot for being so loving and open like the elf last night. But he, you know, but you can never be made wrong when you're that loving and kind and always, you know, wanting to have fun and be nice to others or do nice things for others. So the fool in their knowing and the king of wands is upright, seeing synchronicities with the king of pentacles reversed along with the page of pentacles upright. So his king of pentacles reversed is with the page and that can be their parent. But they do not see this, things the same way that the page of pentacles does, who's that very good student with an open heart. The king of wands is upright here and is seeing the synchronicities. And taking a, the um, king of pentacles reversed and the page, the child, or the king of pentacles opportunity here, he may be taking a gamble, um, but not talking about it with the page of pentacles, unless that's their opportunity, the actual page of pentacles, which can be an invitation as well. But he, the king of pentacles, is keeping it to himself, whatever it is, whether it's to the page of pentacles or just keeping the opportunity to himself. In the recent past is the twin flames, that choice of path. The king of wands could be an Aries, is looking back as the fool, but he's upright, but he's looking back as the fool follows blindly with loyal friend behind the king of wands. The secret is out in the aftermath of the war. The sovereign and the magician upright here are heavily guarded or standing adamantly in their truths. Along with the Pisces reversed and Scorpio reversed, which can be those unhappy children, whether they like it or not, right? So if the kids don't like it, that's too bad. You know, mom or dad is now going to live in their truth. Maybe they sacrificed enough for the kids. Maybe they lied their whole life doing things, doing things or staying together solely for the kids. And now the truth comes out. So now the kids are going to take it really hard because perhaps their parents were lying to them. The magician now standing up to others, destined with sovereign in 5D connection and healing their broken heart. After twin dumped and overwhelmed, now the worst is over and the bliss is setting in. The foundation here is the strength card reversed, feeling weak or the need for courage or strength or good health. Maybe if someone's sick or just their ego is out of control, or this can be ego death as well. And it, you know, in the process of ego death, that doesn't feel good at all, which would be why the strength card is reversed. So after an offer of new passion from the emperor reversed and calling it out, the dark knight wounded warrior let go to repair and the queen of pentacles is reversed. Now the emperor reversed may be out of control, abusing his power or going through ego death and needing to step down. But here he's offering a new passion to the situation. And so this could be adding another project onto the fire, you know, coming from a negative place. Or is this someone in ego death offering a sexual energy? It just depends on your situation. So here's this offer from the emperor reversed. And here, perhaps the divine feminine calling it out. The dark knight wounded warrior may be letting go to repair things with the queen of pentacles reversed. Or the Emperor Reverse is offering another project to the Dark Knight, which can be the Divine Masculine, to keep his wounded, or to keep the Divine Masculine wounded, so he's unable to fix things with the Queen of Pentacles Reversed. Both the Emperor Reversed and the Queen of Pentacles Reversed may be making announcements or making the same announcements, but perhaps unaware that they're both doing the same thing. At 12.22 is the Hangman and the 22 of the Fool. With Leo reversed and Aries reversed, Aquarius upright and Scorpio upright here, the central energy at the heart of the matter is the Two of Cups reversed. Two not seeing eye to eye and disconnect, or two at a distance perhaps, not face to face. The Magician manifesting the Six of Cups reverse, which is that negative past and being out in the cold, injured as the Divine Feminine is released and implementing a plan to offer the Ace of Pentacles. Right, that brand new life of contentment, perhaps offering time, money, and energy, a loan, or a payback. Perhaps a new life to the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, who's upright here, along with the world. They seem very empowered here. This can be a new family or community they want to be associated with. So they're offering a contribution to that 
and the sealed divine feminine perhaps coming full circle wanting to help heal the world an unhappy past with twins or kids left behind perhaps ill or injured and out of prison planning a new life or payment to the king of the ten of pentacles family business or community um, or the world perhaps pisces or sealed divine feminine is included in this with one hanging out in a pool perhaps or referencing yesterday from Jesus Christ Superstar, perhaps someone floating in a gentle pool of wine. Look at all my trials and tribulations, sinking in a gentle pool of wine. So that was coming up again today. Or one fully exposed, naked to all, sunshine exposure, this can be vacation as well, kids, Leo, happiness and energy, full energy, and the challenge being the moon reversed, the deception, the early morning hours, right, the shadowy time the uh, emotional murky areas of your thoughts and soul, the total eclipse of the moon and getting over grief or the queen of cups reversed, the issues at work. So it may be like it's a full moon eclipse can be like a new moon because you're eclipsing the full moon. So the total eclipse getting over grief or the queen of cups reversed who can be very sad and um, perhaps crying a lot or over-emotional, maybe just seen as over-emotional by others. Or this also could be someone who's manipulative because after crying or being so sad, it can also come, up, up, uh, come out as a defense mechanism of being manipulative. So the issues at work with the King of Pentacles reversed and or third party, seeing synchronicities and uncomfortable with that, perhaps especially if other people are around, dumping a load, purging, overwhelmed, where all is exposed and now getting over it. Juggling, performing, or doing the daily grind, healing the three of wands, the three-way situation, the patient angel looking back at the devil waving, the temptation, or the Sagittarius and Capricorn moving to peace with the whistleblower, the queen of swords upright, speaking her truth about the twin flames or the paths to choose, or going off the beaten path with the hierophant, religion, establishment, or the patriarchy, or Taurus with issues at work, with the page of pentacles reversed or is the page of pentacles reversed but now is the injustice of healing and moving on the knight of pentacles upright offering help to the two of cups reversed at a distance or helping them to see eye to eye perhaps mediating a situation this is coming up from the knight of pentacles with the two of cups reversed and this also can be um you know, doing online counseling or healing work as well. So someone might be reaching out to get some healing. The Ten of Pentacles reversed, dysfunctional family business or community of the Empress reversed and the Page of Wands reversed, who may be overwhelmed and purging or crying on a quest to be vulnerable or deal with their issues or the Page of Cups reversed, child or their own rejection and or entitlement. The Libra reversed, healing family dysfunction, and the Page of Cups reversed with the Page of Wands reversed and Empress reversed, which can be a mother and children all struggling right now, perhaps in an all-business relationship, jealous of the emotional fulfillment, but without a leg to stand on. So here's a mother and children, so this may reference the Divine Masculine or the father in the situation. In this all-business relationship, the mother and children may be jealous of the emotional fulfillment of the father, without a leg to stand on because that perhaps they didn't put any work into doing what they would love to do, stealing everything from him at work and at home, right? Or just taking all he's got to give. With the Queen of Cups reversed, an emotional exchange with him perhaps, that could be the masculine feminine connection, and, present, and presenting the truth to the Queen of Wands reversed, which can be chariot or cancer reversed. This also could be someone with cancer. And Capricorn upright, the hangman, hanging out with the Hierophant or Taurus, or marriage, religion, or at an establishment or work. Perhaps together, but at a distance, right? So not getting along. Or they're physically at a distance, but close, which is the twins' relationship. No longer harvesting energy from the Queen of Cups reversed in the aftermath of jealousy and the Queen of Swords presenting her truth, perhaps about sex with the Queen of Wands at home, and eating out, date night, and Taurus upright, Capricorn reversed, Cancer reversed, and Scorpio re reversed here, which can ref reference a family as well. At 1244, which is the hangman and the mastering, grounding, and integrating of love. 
Soon for the feminine here is the reflection, the hermit with the light, the third party temptation and being uncomfortable and in that energy, seeing synchronicities of Capricorn and or Libra or their one person in bliss as the king of swords is upright with Aquarius reversed. Um, so this can be a king of swords with Aquarius in his chart or they're two separate people of the king of swords upright and Aquarius reversed in negative energy. Or this can be depression of the Aquarius or the King of Swords, avoiding paying out or in the aftermath of settlement or sharing. But the King of Swords is upright here, so he's in his truth. At 1247 is the Hangman and the Seven of Cups, those synchronicities, heaven in their eyes, perhaps having a lot of options, perhaps it may be confusing, but now it's not as soon as you allow your mind to get out of the way and let your heart lead the way. Virgo upright, Capricorn upright, Libra upright, Aquarius reversed, and Scorpio reversed here. The feminine in I'm getting I am, so I am that I am is more the masculine presence, the I am, the more selfish energy, the focused energy. So the feminine in her masculine, perhaps, I am that I am, the two of pentacles upright. And in the Syrian Starseed deck, it's very much of surrendering the decisions to the universe. The Page of Wands upright and the Knight of Wands reversed, knowing and keeping to themselves. These could be siblings. The Page of Wands upright is inspired and excited about something, but the Knight of Wands is that player falling short on energy or, you know, always up to something, not doing the right thing, you know, kind of falling off the horse or the wagon energy. So it could be two kids, you know, one is the good kid, one is considered the bad kid. But both of them knowing and keeping it to themselves, the Empress upright and the Queen of Swords upright, which can be the same person, can be mother and daughter as well, or co-workers. But the, they're both upright, the Empress and the Queen of Swords, talking, and the Queen of Swords talks about lovers sharing, holding space and light, and shedding light on those situations so you can truly see who you're giving things to and really should you be doing that, right? Are you enabling them? Excited but falling short, inspired but paralyzed all at the same time, staying centered, perhaps the kids, and the empress speaks on behalf of the lovers and or the twins. The sharing and love and light and wisdom and Taurus upright, Gemini upright, Virgo upright, but also sad reversed, Aries upright and or could be Leo's as well here, the fire energy. The fire energy could be all over the place. Make an effort comes up here, calling in your soulmate, express your love, but love yourself first, and passion, allow the passion to come in. Around the Divine Feminine or how they are seen is the Five of Cups reversed, getting over it, looking back at the deception, and dumping a load, dumping the burdens, the responsibilities that isn't, doesn't belong to you, and or, and or confessing it all. The block here is the Knight of Swords, the 5D messenger. The Knight of Swords may be depressed or needing to be patient and take a time out, perhaps a vacation in the sun, fully exposing the Six of Cups reversed, which can be difficult children or sad children, or just your own sad memories of each other not getting along. The Knight of Cups reversed may be jealous of twin or going out to eat, may be jealous of being able to do that, or a new path with the Hierophant issues at work of third party, Queen of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Cups reversed. Um, pleased with self, the Knight of Cups reversed, being patient for a higher love. And so, you know, the, King, the Knight of Cups reversed can be, you know, jealous and moody, but here it's showing them being pleased with themselves, being patient for a higher love. So it could be someone who's just feeling rejected. So no matter whether someone receives their love or not, being proud of themselves for still... Um, you know, not going into other relationships because they're being true to themselves, even though it may be difficult and they don't feel like they're being true to themselves at times because it hurts. Or maybe they don't feel included, feeling rejected. Or Sagittarius may be coming up as arrogant and jealous or moody, rejected or insincere. And the Queen of Wands reversed, that fire energy reversed, which is out of control, so it can be also tired or sick. This, but sovereign and happy alone, finding peace with the King of Pentacles reversed or making peace with the King of Pentacles reversed. So this would be Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles could be a couple 
or people who work together or a parent and child who are trying to make peace with each other. Um, but they're both reversed. Um, Taurus upright, Capricorn upright, Leo upright, Sag upright here. The Knight of Cups is reversed with the Queen of Wands reversed. But there's also the Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups, both upright, which is very much the energy of the Divine Mass and Divine Feminine standing side by side in their sovereignty. One in their practical sovereignty as the Feminine, because that was what she had to work on, and the Masculine in his emotional sovereignty, which is what he had to work on. Moving to peace with the King of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So there's a couple not getting along. That can also be siblings, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Um... Or two people who are very, who've been living a very superficial life, now no longer seeing things the same way. Um, Sagittarius may be happy as the Nine of Cups, and Virgo or Gemini is happy as the Nine of Pentacles. Unhappy Knight of Cups reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, dealing with the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, both reversed and apart, as Capricorn and Aquarius energies, uh, uh, excuse me, the... Capricorn and Taurus and or Aquarius, but the Taurus and Aquarius can be the same person. The Queen of Pentacles reversed may be staying with their father or the Emperor reversed or perhaps a new lover, but both are unhappy here, if that's the case. Um, there may be a negative past here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles both upright, right? So learning to come out of that negative past, that they are not their past, looking back to end the pain and needing strength or Leo reversed here, maybe they need a Leo to come out of it, to come out of their depression or their lack of energy or healing. Needing that strength to surrender their choices and get over the past. The twin flames perhaps at a distance or in disconnect and challenged by the night or the lunar eclipse with Virgo or reflection of the 5D messages or the injustice or Libra reversed of the Knight of Cups reversed right, which can be rejection, jealousy, insincerity, you know, it can be the schmoozer as well, but the injustice of the Knight of Cups reversed, rejection energy, the jealousy, the insincerity, and the Queen of Wands reversed, and they're right next to the Knight of Pentacles upright and the Knight of Cups upright, who are at peace, moving to the King of Pentacles reversed, away from the Queen of Pentacles reversed, Taurus and or Aquarius. So it's like they're finding peace with the King of Pentacles reversed, and moving away from the Queen of Pentacles reversed. And that could be children moving away with the father and not the mother, or people at work siding with the King of Pentacles and not the Queen of Pentacles reversed, Taurus or Aquarius. The King of Pentacles is coming up more as the Capricorn energy. So Cancer reversed, Sag or Leo, or Capricorn and Taurus are coming up as, um, and or the twins maybe in the middle of all this. Again, a Cancer reversed, a Sag or a Leo, or Capricorn and Taurus, and or the twins actually being in the middle of all this kind of chaos here, whether it's children, co-workers, parents, siblings, um, grandparents, whatever it is. And this ended here at 111, which is the magician and justice, manifesting truth and balance. <sighs> And the cancer reverse can represent someone who's been ill as well, being at the crux of all, the crux of all this. Um, and remember too, the cancers can be the mother energy, the home energy. But remember that the moon is associated with the false light. And that Gaia is considered the Taurus energy of the, of the Empress. So it's a different energy. And it may be the fall of that because we have, you know, Cancer's on the axis with Capricorn and Capricorn's leaving because we're going into Aquarius, right? So there won't be that focus of that axis anymore, the Cancer, Capricorn, Aquarius. So it won't be so much in the, in the spotlight. It'll be more about Leo and Aquarius but Leo not being so much in the spotlight, right? Leaving the need for ego and attention behind, going more into that sovereignty of people 
and the group, the collective uh, of the Aquarius energy as we move into that, um, that change and shift in December at 1221. So I'm going to pull an energy card for the Divine Feminines here. Let's see what comes up. Kid, they're, you know, with the kids, the, the knight and the page of pentacles being up and both up and down in the read, um, maybe the kids were supposed to go live with one person and they were unhappy about that and then going to live with the other, or it can be vice versa as well. Or maybe they were great one minute and then they find out something or that their parents are splitting. These can also be co uh, young workers too, the page and knight of pentacles. They can be young people at work. But there's a lot of back and forth energy with them, you know, that unstable energy could be dealing with a death, whether that's of a person, a place or a thing, you know, a relationship, a home, all of those kind of things, an animal, pets, deaths of pets may be coming up as well. Maybe, maybe uh, pets coming up grieving a person's death, right? Someone that they were, their master, they were very connected to. So let's see for the divine feminine here, surrendering their choices. Um, these two are coming up together, the 31 of the Five of Wands, expansion and conflict, but also the pursuit of happiness. And that all depends on your perspective of what do you value, do you know what you value? And we have the Six of the Contract, which is the lovers, but also just love, family, and community, the more practical side of love, right? And having some kind of discipline around your stability and your money. What do you value? And is that what you focus on? You know, what, at the root of the matter, do you have a strong foundation? All right. What is your contract? The lovers were upright here. So this is a very positive energy here. All right. The pursuit of happiness and the balance and perhaps the blindness that is needed or required. Blind justice is coming up here as well as the Constitution. Your liberties and liberties were definitely coming up here as well as possession. For the Divine Feminine, Liberty and Possession, the Sophia, was coming up having both all at the same time. That is the merging of the polarities, allowing the both, not attaching or resisting, right? Allowing, allowing all. And just being in, in that balance of the two extremities, the merging of it. It's not so much ignoring the polarities, yet merging the two polarities, being of it, but not in it, right? Allowing them to be there, but like by staying in the center, not feeding into either one, it's like the median value. You allow to, the whole to come more to the center as the outliers then drop off. And so there becomes less and less and less polarity, less and less extremes, less and less um, savior victim mentality, right? you can't have the victim without the savior or the, per or the perpetrator, right? The victim is in the middle of all that. So you can't be the savior or the victim. So in order to lose the victim, you have to lose the savior mentality as well, the enabler and the perpetrator. So it's really a three-way thing, not a two-way thing. It's always in threes. So here we have the appreciation of the 15, the shadow side, right? This is the love, family, community, the practical side of the contract of your life. And here's the shadow side and showing appreciation for it all and just knowing what you value most, what's most important to you. This is a very practical energy here. And this is then, I don't, these are not right side up and upside down cards. They're all supposed to be upright, but the broken heart's coming up reverse, which is beautiful. All right, so the expansion or the crack has done and it's on the healing side or it's just about healed or healed now. So the broken heart, we're done that cycle here, which is really beautiful. So it's a very practical energy coming up here. And then the bottom of the deck is the magician in the mirror. 53 is the knight of swords, which was very significant in the read today. And I'm really noticing the uh, infinity with the star around that, that's coming up as the aster in cell, in cell splitting. 
and so much was coming up around the cell splitting. Since I did that video, it's all about the splitting of the cell. The process of mitosis is the same thing the twins are going through. You know, the initial meeting of the twins is the splitting of the, of the, um, the neutron. You know, has, it's the splitting of the, the ones, but yet each one has a lot going on around them, right? All the protons and neutrons, the families that are attached to them, all the energies that are attached to each, the masculine and the feminine. So once the fem masculine and feminine meet, they then have to split because then all of their worlds have to change in order to manifest that connection. So they split and that's then the, the whole process that goes into splitting a human cell, right? Reorganizing to align with the split. So there can be a, 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 a divide that won't cause chaos. And that's what this is showing right here. It's, it's pretty amazing. So the asters in the splitting of the cell are the polarized uh, holes. It's like the, um, it's like uh, grounding the grid. You know, we each have a spot to hold while this process can happen. So the asters polarize, that's the star, the two stars on either end, like the foosball table. It's like the handles of the foosball table with the spindle in the middle, the, um, the, you know, like the skewer or the spit. You know, it's all the same kind of idea. But the polarized handles, the handlers, is the aster, the stars, they can hold all this. They, they hold the, the place, the place down. It's like being a grid holder. Like your parents who may be sick, they may be holding a place in the grid for you until all this happens, and then they can let go, okay? So when you let go of the handle on the foosball table, right, then you, you lose control, game's over, because then someone's going to get a goal off, off of you, all right? So that's my reference to what's happening or what has happened in the journey of the twins. But we have the magician in the mirror. That's what he's like. This is like God in his pajamas saying, yeah, that's all there was to it. It's just like sp splitting a human cell. You know, everything in life repeats itself. 53 is the messenger of truth, right? That knight in shining armor. What more do you want from me? <laughs> I've given you everything. Look at his hands on fire, like his healing hands. I've given you all you need, my children. <laughs> it is up to you what you do with it. The 53. Right? Being that, uh, lo that tough love, right? The love being the loving parent without being the enabler, without being the savior and without being the perpetrator, without being the abusive parent, without being the savior, right? Saving their kids from everything instead of allowing them to learn how to take care of themselves. So that is all the energy. It's a very significant message today. Let's see what Scooby-Doo has to say. It's very practical energy for the feminine here. What does Scooby-Doo have to say? I'm getting Where's Waldo from Scooby now. So what does Scooby have to say about Where's Waldo? Someone's very proud of themselves. They were able to stick up for themselves. It definitely could be a child or an adult who has that childish side of themselves that's afraid to stick up for themselves. You know, it's so much easier to defend your children than it is to defend yourself. But this is someone learning to stick up for themselves. This is the Nine of Pentacles, the Sovereign. Finding your sovereignty, um, it's making me want to cry. Um, yeah, it's really high energy. Um, divine feminines is, is like, give yourself a pat on the back. Look how far you've come into your sovereignty. <laughs> and there's your, there's your cheerleader cheering you on, right? It's like the divine masculine's always been there watching the game, cheering you on. It's making me want to cry. Three of pentacles is the, um, the um, you know, the workplace type energy or the place of coming together and co-creation, right? So we have the sovereign, and the workplace, which is so representative of the masculine and the feminine right now. So here's the feminine gaining her sovereignty, and here's the masculine watching the game as it plays out at work in co-creation with the divine feminine, but him doing it apart in a different way, the other side of the coin, right? The sovereign and the whole. You see? And then here is the king of wands reversed. 
which may be like a foolish brother or friend or a distraction of <laughs> my masculine. And this could be someone doing flips as well. They're, they're not only this ecstatic and happy, they are this happy and ecstatic. They're doing flips. And this could be referencing that the, king, the, that the, saw the uh, divine masculine, this is the workplace, but he's not just the workplace. He's the king of wands doing flips. Or, or flipping out. But this is very positive energy. How oh, the king of wands, see, he comes upright again. This is literally someone doing a flip. Coming back to noticing how beautiful his toes are. Maybe someone didn't like their toes and now they're like, oh, I love my toes or I love my manicure. Or oh, someone reminded me to look at my feet and cut my toes because a lot of old men don't mess with their toes at all and they get really yucky. This may be someone, you know, taking care of their feet. Or maybe their new shoes. Maybe they, they like all of a sudden the look of their feet. Maybe when they're young, they hated their shoes or feet. And now maybe they used to wear heels all the time which made their feet look ugly. And now they stopped that. They started just being themselves and more natural and comfortable. And now their feet look beautiful and they're admiring them. So it just depends on your situation. But I love how this comes out. This is like, you notice that this is the three of pentacles and there's like three masculine energies here. And then here's the feminine cheering them on, right? Them cheering her on, her cheering them on. Her being the sovereign and them being the group, the two sides of the same coin that then merge together to become the four. Okay. And then of course there's a joker in every group, right? That's the class clown. <laughs> so funny. It's all the men, you know, being their little boy, right? This one's cheering on the game. This one's doing flips. This one's looking at their toes or whatever they're doing there. And then this one's playing with their toys or eating ice cream, having faith. And underneath all of it for all of you is just extending that hand. The five of cups, you know, is that, that grieving card. It's the five of cups is not being able to let go of the past, you know, being hurt, grieving, a loss or regret, guilt or shame. And this is being able to be in that energy and rise above and still offer your hand. What's behind this one? This is getting past that, um, this is reverse. This is the 10 of swords that came up twice in the read, here and here, right back to back. This is the bliss state, right? Not needing to control, right? Because even with a hula hoop, you, ha you can't learn to use a hula hoop unless you let go of control. Because it's all by a rhythm. You can't intellectualize the hula hoop. And this is having learned that, and now you don't need to learn it anymore because you've, you've, you've mastered it. This is the bliss state. It's like learning to play piano. You know, when you have to think about it initially, but you really can't get it up, keep it up there until you let go of the intellectualizing of it. And then it becomes that intuitive flow. And that is the um, psychic connection, literally. Uh, thank you, Scooby, I like that. That was beautiful. All right, and then one more from the Journey of Love for the Divine Feminines at 5824, which is the Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands. And again, the Queen of Wands, a lot comes up as that third energy that's needed to expand the two. So we have the 58, which is the Four of Swords, the connection in the 5D, and then the Queen of Wands, which expands that energy in order to bring it together. It, you know, she represents the third energy, that, that pure creative source. All right, let's see here. For the divine feminine, for the best and highest good of all this concern, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? What is our takeaway from this read? And again, let's clear all. Let's clear all blocks to positive energy flow in all chakra layers, auric layers, grounding and galactic cords, across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities, for the highest good of all these concerned, and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take another deep breath. Oop. 
and they didn't want to go back in. These two just were forced out. They are not coming back in. The 65 of the King of Pentacles and the 45 of that Five of Cups, the grief process. So here's the feminine in that grief and here's the masculine. And they're not being let, let back into the group because they're meant to come together. Hold on a second. Um, and a third card's coming out too. The bottom of the deck is the Christ flame, right? The, the transmutation of the violet flame, the 31 of that expansion and growth, expansion beyond your usual limits. The 31 of that five of wands, which is conflict and fighting and battles and games, but also the pursuit of happiness and the impossible dream, all in one, all rolled into one. And that has to do with the one, two, three jump and all rolled into one because I was getting the um, pa -ra -pa -pa -pum, the ra was coming up as the three and one. Pa -ra -pa -pa -pum. So instead of five syllables, there's actually seven syllables, which is the seven of the chakra system. That was really cool how that came up. It's so ama it amazes me every day. No matter how much it happens, it still amazes me every day when they give me these downloads. All right, so the breaking is the 65, the king of pentacles, who was reversed in this read, right? Because there's conflict here. There's a lot rushing into the vortex all at once. And this is also the, the, the feminine energy bending so far backward, she's about to break. You see that? But she's so bendable. This is her hair. This is her face right there and her arms. So her whole body has become the vortex. And here's a splash being thrown in. It's like being thrown into the pot together to work it out and not being able to leave, you know? You're gonna stay in this room, uh, failure to launch. It's like that when they were put in the room and Matthew McConaughey was tied to the chair. He couldn't leave until they worked it out. And then here's the hidden beauty in the grief, in the grieving process. You know, the king of, of pentacles reverse is that superficial energy. It's very ungrounded. It could be loss of money and status as well. And then here is, that's the masculine side of the coin. The feminine side of the coin of that is the grieving, the sorrow, the guilt and the shame, the not letting go. And again, remember you have masculine and feminine in each of you. It's not just one or the other. These exist in both of you. But as you come together, you polarize into the most masculine and feminine energies in order to merge. And then we have the acceptance. There you go, in the enchanted forest. Going through all this chaos to get to the merge. La merge, I'm getting that too. All right, so the 55, which is getting to the truth. The Excalibur, pulling the sword from the stone, taking the final sword out of the divine feminine's heart. The divine feminine having dealt with rejection and abandonment from the initial break between the masculine and feminine and the masculine with the guilt and shame and letting go of that wound in order to come together again, okay? And having the truth, the acceptance, the allowing. And then notice there's a third person here too, the witness to the love. That's why there always has to be a third person. Because if the, if the tree in the forest falls and no one sees it, does it actually exist? So there's that energy coming up as well. This is a really beautiful message. So now I have to read to you the breaking of the 65, the King of Pentacles. All right, the breaking. You are breaking apart. You might not understand it at all. There's not so much to be understood, but the simplicity doesn't mean it's easy to endure. You may worry that you're going too far, that you may not recover or ever come back together again. But what can you do? Can you hold back from the divine love that calls you, that lures you to becoming all that you are, to remembering your divine nature? Well, you could try, but for what purpose? Temporary rest before the storm is best. So take the rest if you need it, then dive into the storm. Let yourself be brokenhearted by the divine so that you can become your truth, become all that you are meant to be. It is better to have the heart broken so that it grows than to be brokenhearted by thinking that you must protect yourself from love. This oracle brings compassionate guidance that no matter what sadness or anger, despair or frustration you may feel, you're being pulled apart not by dark forces, but by the loving embrace of the divine, as it strips you of that which would keep you from your divine realization. Let go and break. 
It is going to be the making of you. And then the poem, Love. Love is a special closeness that sings from the heart, that warms my days and nights, and feels good, that makes me smile, that makes me glad to be alive. And then I'm just getting guided. I am that I am. Sam I am. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> it's like bringing up that fool of the elf energy. You know, the adult child. Henry VIII I am, right? He just wants to gorge himself on that, that big uh, chicken drumstick. And then the green eggs and ham. So think about that. The feasting of the Thanksgiving the tiny Tim, they're all coming up under I am that I am, you know, the child within. It's making me want to cry. Whew. Okay. I hope that was helpful for you. I love that message. So make sure you drink your water, get your rest as usual. Um, get your joy, get your nature. Make sure you hug a tree or put your feet out there, salt yourself, meditate. Um, I actually have to do some meditation myself today. And uh, yeah, just get grounded again when you feel off again. And remember the blood pumping out and back too. Like sometimes you'll feel very disconnected and sometimes you'll feel very connected. It's all just part of the dance and the flow. So allow it all. Love yourself no matter how you feel. The more you accept everything, the more it'll pass through quickly. Okay? Rise and be loved, guys. See you soon. Bye.